The first thing you do when you come uh, to take a road test, you do paperwork first. Then you'll get in your car by yourself. You go to the spot where the cones are set up. The examiner will have you stop at a, at a line here because that's our line to measure six feet beyond the bumper so we can uh, move these sticks to uh, reflect the length of your car. So it's your length of your car plus six feet. Then we do the vehicle inspection. We'll say left blinker on, right blinker on, horn, back brake lights, stuff like that, okay? So, so after that, the examiner will read you instructions about going up to the white line. He'll say there's a solid white line between two cones. You're supposed to put your front bumper as close as possible to the white line without going past. That means you're supposed to stop within two feet. So you come up here and you're going to guess because you can't see anything. They want you to guess. It's okay to guess and you stop. You're supposed to stop within two feet. Over a dash line, that's our measuring stick and within uh, next to the solid white line. If you go over the solid white line, that's a point off. Or if you come up short, it's a point off. One point off. Again, you're allowed six points off in this exercise of going over lines, hitting cones, and being out of position. So let's say you, you do that properly. You put your vehicle in park, toot your Examiner says, okay. Comes to the window, reads you instructions about going into this called simulated driveway or wire turn, blind side back, uh, side side backing into the spot here. And so you look over your left shoulder out your window and you just curve into the spot. Missing this cone, keying on this cone, coming in here. And then to ace it, you're going to stop your back bumper within two feet of the cone that pulls back here. You can look out your window, of course, and do anything you want and in order to get yourself into position and back into the spot. When you're done, you put your vehicle on park and tap your horn. On this exercise here, let's say you're backing into here and all of a sudden you go, oh, I'm going to hit these cones. You can pull forward this way or pull forward this way and then make a correction. It's okay. It's a, just a point off. You're allowed six points off again. Okay, so you come back in here and you make a guess. Okay, once you're here, you put your vehicle in park, tap your horn. The examiner comes to the window. He says, I'd like you to turn right out of the spot. I'd like you to get set up. Uh, usually, past everything, you get set up over here. You can reposition yourself as you turn right out of the spot. You can reposition yourself until you're ready. You let the examiner know that you're ready to make your maneuver. Usually, you, make, you start your maneuver when your back bumper is even with those three cones is what you want to do. Is usually where that's where you start from. So now you're here and then you're going to back into the spot. As I read to you before, uh, there's two lines on this, on this diagram here. Uh, I didn't put those on here now. I'll put those, those called white continuation lines. Like this. And so when you're doing this parallel parking, blind side backing, you just have to be inside those lines. If you're uh, like that, up there like that, that's fine. You can be that. It's just, it's just so you're inside the line. If you hit a cone or crooked, it's okay. Just leave it. Every time you pull forward in this exercise is a point off. So you don't have to get in there perfect. I guess that's the key about this whole thing is that you just have to get in there uh, between the continuation lines. So if you hit a cone or crooked, it's okay. The, after you get done, you put it in park, toot your horn, and he gets in the car. Let me go over another scenario with you. You do the vehicle inspection, you come up here, and you come up short. So that would be at one point off, okay? You, don't forget, you're allowed six points off. Now you're going to back into the spot, and let's say you back into here, and oops, you go out the back end, and you toot your horn, you hit a cone, and let's say you pull forward, and you miss. So you went out the back, that's a point off for hitting this cone and this line, two points. You pulled forward, that's three points. And now you pull forward too far, you're more than two feet away, that's, you're, you got four points off so far. Okay, but anyhow, you're going to turn right, you're going to get yourself position. Okay, you end up in good position, you can do anything you want, you start from here. 
You turn it all the way to the right, and all the way to the left, and then you get in here like that, okay? And you just toot your horn. You're done. So the examiner would score you a point off for hitting this cone. That's number five, and you're not 100% in. Not very many people, by the way, ever ace this. I mean, 100%. It's really hard to do. But anyhow, that's six points off. He gets in the car, and you go for a ride. You pass this part. Even though you have six points off, and you, you didn't do too well over here, and you didn't do well, it's okay. You're allowed six points off. People get mistakes of, of keep on correcting themselves and going back and forth. Every time you correct yourself, you get a point off. So, of course, uh, you can go back and forth and back and forth trying to get in here, but you don't have to get in here perfect. You just have to get in here be, be, uh, in between the continuation lines. After you're done here, the examiner gets in the car and you go for the ride on the road.